I was in my pajamas and my t-shirt and the cop come in and said, out you go. And when they speak, you listen and you do it. You do what they say. But I had to go just like I was. I, I grabbed a little cash, thank goodness, and I can, I can make it. But uh, yeah, it's devastating. Terrible, dear. I, I mean, I've never seen devastation like this ever in my life. Uh, yeah, you do in war, but not here. And I wasn't in war, but that's what you see here, you know. And uh, I don't know uh, how we're going to recover too easy. They opened up three lanes to get out, and there was two lanes coming in that were, you know, for emergency traffic, basically. But I took a picture, and it was just a wall of smoke from here. I couldn't see past those trees right there. It was just a wall of smoke, and I was just like, man, we got, this isn't good. I didn't think we were gonna be able to outrun it. We didn't have time to think. It was my mom and me and my kids and my grandmother who's quite elderly and needs a lot of health care and uh, we heard the fires were a long ways off and then we heard you got to get out now and all we had was time to grab some basic stuff real fast and just get out and when we hit the door we saw black over the house coming and 